So, um, let's get these guys combined, but first of all, let's get some of these parts onto the uh, proper components. So, this piece, of course, goes on Mixmaster. Also, it doesn't snap it in any way, but if you, like, uh, push down on it a little bit, and, and if you, like, a, like, a, uh, snap, yeah, you'll, um, yeah, you'll see that it doesn't, like, wobble around as much. And, of course, scrap metal shield plugs into here, there you go, now let's get these dudes combined, so what I'm going to do is just go from bottom to top, just to make things a little bit easier for me, so Rampage, um, there's this rail that'll just slide into there, it's right there, and for long haul, he is a bit more of a pain in the butt to get on. Because you actually have to squeeze the two halves. Oh, and that's a, he's actually been nice to me. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's get the upper body on. So, Scavenger is just going to slide on to here. Also, you want to be sure that this piece is out of the way. Just slide scavenger on there. Now push that back. Push back the wheels. Also, there's actually no official locking point for these bits. But what I would do is... Actually, I'll just go over it later. Now let's move on to the master of mixing. Also, just to make things a bit easier on me, I'm just gonna take these parts off. There we go. And now we can attach the head. Yeah, this guy is really, really huge compared to my uh, setup. So, just snap it in there. Now just pop this back on. Okay, now I'll talk about like the uh, like the unofficial like thooping point for these. So you just want to push these in until they just then stop until they just like stop moving so that way it kind of locks the top bit into place and so that way yeah, these things don't just go flopping around now the arms of high towers hook them just fell off now taking scrap metal it's just there. Now you just slide this into here also just to make it look a little bit better. I would just rotate this and then I'll just slide it in sideways. But I warn you guys, once you um if you could decide to combine it like this, it's gonna be a bit of a pain to get off. And same thing for the scrapper. And finally, after over a year of getting all of these Studio Series Constructicons, here we have Studio Series Devastator. And wow, he is big. 
Yeah. Okay, so um, in my opinion, he looks very, very good. And that face is just flipping huge as well. Okay, so articulation, the head is locked in place, but the mouth can open pretty wide. The shoulders are a little strange, though. Like, just to, like, the angle that they're at. So the arm can move up around that far. And move down that far. I don't, I don't know if you can call this, like, a outward movement or backward butterfly joints. Yep, that's where it is. That's just where it's confusing. For now, from here, it's just smooth sailing from here, I guess. You get a ratcheted swivel here. A three clicks on this elbow. But if this elbow is straight, you get four clicks. Also, this is just for this arm, but you do get a hinge joint of like where scrap metal and high tower connect. And individually articulated fingers. And for scrap metals, you get ball joint here, a uh, and a ball joint and a hinge joint. And for the middle finger, you just get a hinge joint here and a hinge joint here. And for high tower's thumb, you get a hinge joint, hinge joint, and a hinge joint. Oh, and the shoulders usually like to untap real easily. And scrap metal's fingers. You get a hinge, a swivel, and another hinge. And for the bottom, you get a swivel and a hinge. And of course, the thing could also spread, as I mentioned in those reviews. Thanks to all these guys' reviews in the description. Rat the legs can ratchet around that far. Can move back around that far. And, um... Get just the arms out of the way. You can do the splits. You do have a ratcheted thigh swivel also for these wheels. Um, I just like to fold them out just because... And there's no knees because they're locked in place. The ankles can move up and down and you get an ankle pivot. Of course, the same thing with the other side. So yeah, um, this, this guy, in my opinion, he is awesome. But um, yeah, this is definitely not how we remember him in the movie. Yeah, he was lumbering on all fours. Here, let me just get the arms transformed, and I'll be back. Okay, so finally, after all of that, and... I completely forgot to push that back in. Anyways, let's get him crawling down. <sighs> okay. Let's just get it over with. Freaking cool. Yeah. 
This thing is freaking huge. So yeah, um, that is uh, pretty much how I got him into the full crawl. And he looks pretty dang cool. And as I already said multiple times before. But yeah. Also, um, what I would do now with the vortex grinder was like would be like um to like open these up. Just to make it look a bit more active, I guess. Now, finally for the size comparisons. Here he is with SS Leader Shockwave. Get him standing there. This guy's more pain to stand up. When he's in full crawl. Either way, actually. He's used with NECA Godzilla. And I'm pretty sure you know what I'm gonna say at this point. Why out of scale? And last but not least, here he is with MPM Barricade. So, there we have it. And articulation in this mode is pretty much just exactly the same as the uh, as he is standing upright, except um, it's a little bit more hindered. And you do get like a slight up and down at the head. Okay. Okay. Finally, on to my final thoughts. Um. Yeah. Um. I think this figure is pretty pretty good. Um. Especially for Series first ever combiner. Yeah, I think he's pretty good. Yeah, and um, uh, proportional wise, I think he actually scales pretty good with um, uh, most of my Revenge of the Fallen Studio Series figures, which are pretty much just this and uh, RTF Soundwave and the RC Sisters. Reviews on those guys coming soon. But yeah, um, yeah, nonetheless, I think he's a pretty cool figure. Um, also, I didn't go over the packaging because um, this is not the uh, the uh, numbered entry. This is just the standard releases for all these figures. And of course, I'm not picking up the box set since I already have this. But yeah, um, nonetheless, this is a pretty awesome figure. Um, if you were like to, I am, I'm not one to judge for like uh, how you want to start, uh, how you want to get this guy, like either through the box set or through just getting all eight constructor cons. But yeah, um, yeah, just do it the way you, just do it the way you want to. But yeah, that is my review on the Transformers Studios News Devastator, and as always, I will see you all next time. Peace.